Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, 2013 Land Rover Defender 130 uh, chassis cab that's been converted into a tipper. As you can see, we're doing it with the uh, with the tipper body up, so you can see a bit more uh, about it. Obviously, the main tipper photos are on the um, on our website and stuff. Um, finished in Rimini red metallic. Um, it's got the with a white roof, incidentally. It's got the proper. Um, heavy duty wolf style wheels on it which are really the only ones that are rated for 130s um, with a matching set of continental cross contact tires on uh, i don't know about the spare the spares inside the um inside the body the rear box body um what else it fitted with air conditioning uh, electric windows remote alarm locking with immobilizer obviously the uh, electro hydraulic tipper now the tipper itself is it's got twin rear doors on it, which as you can see are, are uh, tied back at the minute. It's also got a roof on it. Um, obviously it's come from a tree surgeon's. Now you will see the, 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 the old tree surgeon's sign writing on the side. Um, we haven't attempted to get it off because obviously someone has tried to get it off before and it just seems to be pulling the, um, the gray paint off when it's done. So we're gonna leave that. I guess really anybody that buys it is going to want to repaint it in their, uh, uh, in their house colours, but the red and grey is the, the style of St Albans trees. Um, it's got adjustable tow pack on it, which you can just see underneath there. Um, that's about it in terms of its spec. Okay, let's take a walk around it and see, pick out some good bits and bad bits. Not a lot of bad bits. I mean, it has been a worker, so and it has it is showing what 106,000 miles or so. So expect a few blemishes, but um, they've actually looked after it reasonably well. I would say. Um, starting around the front end, obviously the front bumper is a bit uh, rusty and pitted. Uh, replacements are straightforward if you really want to go down that route. Uh, paint is pretty good. There's one or two blemishes. There's a small scratch just there on the bonnet and a little bit of paint loss just up there and some scratches just behind it just there. Uh, but otherwise, it's not too bad. The wing top's a little bit ripply. Possibly been used to stand on. That one's actually got a slight dent in it just there possibly been used to stand on that's why you have checker plate on them really but looking down the near side it all looks pretty straight apart from the modesty cover just behind the passenger door is slightly bent inwards i would say um let's have a look down here at the chassis on the near side front there we go and a post uh, screen block on the near side has lost a load of its paint, as they always do. Um, but the scuttle itself and the screen surround actually pretty good. Uh, and the screen itself, actually. Uh, roof has got one or two little dents in it. Again, I suspect someone's been standing on that to uh, something to do with the tree surgery. Um, and both mirrors, I haven't taken this tape off. Um, the mirror is slightly flexible. I suspect the um, the mount's been caught at some point because looking at that there, that's uh, obviously caught on something at some point as well. But we haven't taken this off to see what's underneath. I don't want the mirror to fall off. Um, near side door, a couple of scratches on it here and there. Primarily around there. And as always, a bit of wear on the modesty cover from people getting in and out with uh, big boots on. Yeah, so slightly bent in rear um, modesty cover just there. A couple of scratches on the rear bit just there. Otherwise, that's the back of the tub and everything. Inside, it's actually in pretty good shape again for a worker. Obviously, someone has put new um, new seat bases, excuse me, new seat bases in it. Um, they're vinyl rather than the denim twill vinyl, but um, it's not really a big hardship. It has also got a middle seat, which shouldn't really have because that's what happens. The uh, the high low thing tends to it tends to foul them on on pumas. Um, pumas didn't come from the factory with a middle seat. But this one has now got one. The middle seat is a bit marked and stained. But uh, as I say, you've got air conditioning. You've got a decent Alpine stereo, electric windows, central locking, full matting kit inside. It's actually in not bad shape for its uh, for its age and what it's been doing. Headlining's all nice. Right. Now, for once, we can actually... Well, let's show you the bottom of the... Um, uh, the bottom of the tipper body first of all done in buffalo board uh, properly done by the look of it it's a nice job um, and i guess that is an emergency thing if the to hold it up if needs be 
that bar there. Um, but we've just got it running on the uh, on the hydraulic thing at the moment. Or well, not running as the case may be, because we switched it off, but uh, it's not coming down again, shall we say. Um, you can see the chassis condition for once on <laughs> one of these. Looks pretty good to me. And then around the back, as I say, we'll show you in here, if you can see it. That's the tip of body when it's tipped, that's the spare wheel. And say so it has got a roof on it as well. Quite useful. Adjustable tow pack, as we said. Go again round here. The wheels are a bit marked and pitted and uh, some rust coming through, but um, they are what they are. So it is a working vehicle. That's the tank for the uh, for the tipper. So yeah, for once you can see the uh, top side of the chassis. Um, driver's door, just one or two marks where people have been getting in and out with rings on. Um, again, bit of wear on the modesty cover down there. And people getting in and out. Same story with the driver's mirror. Um, Although I say it doesn't seem to fall off at all. And we'll take it out on the road in a minute and see what it's like. Um, scuttle corner all good. That screen block is fine. Near so offside front wing. A couple of small scratches just down here. And then underneath here. There we have it. And then inside. Obviously it's got the later doors so we don't need to talk about rusty doors and stuff. Um, that's the control for the uh, for the tipper body, um, which I'll switch on in a minute and bring it down again. And yeah, steering wheel's not too badly worn for its mileage. Um, so you've got the full matting kit. A couple of crumbs in there. That's about it. She's um, you know, the seats are in pretty good shape. Unusually not worn on the bolster or anything. Um, she's in good order in my opinion. So, uh, oh, it's one small blemish just there on the, uh, where the modesty cover joins the wing. So I think there we have it. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. Or you can go to our website, which is www.moto-drome.com for any more information.